it's about one o'clock almost one o'clock and I goofed off this morning cut a little firewood actually I cut some trees down to get to the firewood cutting but you know working by myself with a chainsaw is not my favorite thing in the world we had a cool front blow in last night we got a full moon coming up today or tomorrow it's gonna be a big one and uh, right now the temperature is around 70 degrees so fall has finally arrived the sky was cloudy but it's breaking off now nice and clear pretty kind of funked me out this morning uh, you know I walked outside at 4 about 4 a.m. and it was still relatively warm I walked outside at about 6 a.m. and the wind was blowing and the temperature dropped big time yesterday was a record high dang near 100 it was 98 degrees officially but it felt much hotter and then today we woke up at uh, oh it was probably 59 degrees maybe a little cooler it was cooler just north of here but you know what I thought about fishing I've tied some flies I've done all kinds of stuff thinking about going up to the creek and now that's what's happening I will tell you the last several days uh, fishing has been tough very tough and uh, I'm hoping today's a little better in the creek and the creek is the one to fish because this wind is howling doesn't look like it's looked like it's laying up too but it's blowing hard it was this morning as that front was getting here and you can see looking off to the east and north it's still cloudy hazy but it'll clear up I have no idea what the fish are going to do, but we're going to find out. Y'all stay tuned. Welcome to Fish Tales. You know, it's kind of unusual. I live in Central Texas, but I'm on the edge of East Texas. This is East Texas. And you can tell by all these extra tall pine trees. And I love pine trees. Man, this is, this is my kind of place. Almost there back on the creek let's make it happen I have no idea what the fish are gonna be like today that water's even clearer than it was before my plan is to be sneaky 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 I'm gonna throw this little old clouser to start with but I'm gonna go to one of my other flies real quick like all right let's get it going Let's get it going. What a day. Welcome to Fish Tales. This is going to be interesting. Hope let's get that first drop in here. See if they like this fly is really bright. I've got some more that are much dimmer. And this is just for any fish. It's a slow sinker. It worked on the pond. This isn't really what I'm out here to test today. I've got some rabbit strip, leech type, deceiver type flies that I'm really going to hit hard with. Oh yeah, this is going to be lots of sunfish in this stretch to start with. Even though there's bass everywhere. Any place that water's got some depth, they're going to be hanging. I just saw something move. Let's see what happens. Come on, fish. Somebody come up out of that depth. Okay. Well, my first volunteer. A little largemouth bass. Took a clouser. I saw him swimming out there and he came to get it. All right, get that out of him and get out of there, buddy. Now I got a red fly. He got it down in his gill. He got it down in his gills. A very simple clouser. Rabbit strip, though, uses rabbit fur. 
instead of deer hair. That fish was way away from that fly. He came screaming over there to get it. It's a good sign. It's a very good sign. All right. Now, if I want to fish for these little bitty fish, I keep doing what I'm doing. But if I'm after bass, bigger bass, I got to put my bigger fly back on. I think I'll go ahead and re-rig before I get to the next hole. Before I go to the big fly, Let's try this one. This is a, I think it's called a predator. It's just a foam fly pattern. Saw it on the internet. Look at there, they're showing some interest. Oh, it was, they are showing a lot of interest. I thought they might. I actually got some luck with this on the ranch pond. It's getting some attention, mostly little sunfish, but. Oh, there's a bass. A little bass looking at it. Boom. Oh, he's on there. <laughs> he's so little I didn't even know. <laughs> That's sunfish. Okay, so they'll take a top water. That's what I want to know. This is a nice little fly. Easy to tie. Very easy tie. I'll put the link I found on there so you can see how to tie this simple fly. That's what you call bait. You put that on hook and throw it back out there, you'll find the bass. <sighs> Somewhere up here is the first good deep bend. Got my Sunday waders on. You know, the holy ones. <laughs> cool. When you see them come up, look at it. Give it a little twitch and they just jump all over it. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of bass right here. <laughs> That's the best one so far today. Look at that fish. That's a heavy, fat little fish. I don't think he's that big. Didn't look that big underwater. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Put you upside down. Go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. <laughs> that ain't working with him. <laughs> there you go. Deep in the gully. Be little and fat, but you sure make me happy. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. There's a whole bunch of fish just hanging right underneath that junk. Let's see if I can get another one to pick it up. Bet I can. Same one. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> There's another bass. Three or four or five of them. Sunfish picking it up. Dragging it all over the place. All right, here comes a bass. Here comes a bass. Oh, doing a drive-by. Oop. Ooh, he must have been one of the smart Alex. He didn't take an interest in it. Boom. Boy, they come out underneath that tree. Do I have one? No. <laughs> Lose sight of my fly when they drag it under. There he is. Another little sunfish. Oh, look at him. Long distance release and he messed me up. You rascal. Came undone. Okay, mighty fine. Quick release. Boom. There we go. The fish just keep coming after it. They're hungry. This might be one of those wonderful trips, you know. Actually, it already is. The weather is just beautiful. Temperature's about 72, maybe. <laughs> it feels great. After enduring a typical long, hot summer. This is a fun little fly. I'm glad to see it when they come up and get surface flies. It's just so fun. A little old creek like this, nice, peaceful, quiet. None of my buddies, they're still working. They couldn't make the trip today on a Wednesday. But I do. Ooh, there's bass. Hey, what this thing ain't weedless. <laughs> there it goes, ain't that loose. All right, let's see if we can't do that all the way down. I'll put the big fly on once these little fish get through playing with it, or I lose it. I don't know, I got more bugs just like it. They are definitely receptive today. Let's 
go back to a little darker clouser. That's a nice rabbit strip. Gray hair. Let's see what happened. I'll you know, bet you I just got to drop it in that edge. Bring it up to that corner. Bring it right up to the edge of that sandbar. And they'll come up, they'll climb up that sandbar to get this thing. There it comes. Sunfish. You catch at least one of those nice fish out of that bunch. Nice solid bass out of the river, out of the creek, creek bass. There we go. Rabbit strip leech deceiver kind of fly. It's kind of a mixture of a whole lot of techniques, but it's got it's intended to be weedless so I can crawl it through areas like that and not worry so much about getting stuck. And it will probably not sink terribly fast, but it will sink to the bottom if you let it. So you get one of these things totally saturated. And just grind it into that sand. And sometimes, when you first plop it in the water, it lets off a big old mud like that, and it looks alive. Some serious short wave. Boy, that thing is swimming like nobody's business. <laughs> I'm going to test the weedlessness, that's for sure. Oh, that thing. Not quite as pretty as the other one I got. I got a black one that's a little better looking in the water, but this thing should work. Just had a nice bass come up on it. There's so much crap over there. It was riding on top of it. That's the challenge for today. Got to hit a clear hole. Right on that far bank. Man, that fish just took a whack at it. But totally missed it. All right, fishy. I'm going right back at you, buddy. Boom, right there. All right, right here. Boom, boom. Right there. Come on. Do it twice. It looks even better the second time, doesn't it? Come on, fish. Kill it. I saw that whole fish. It was a nice bass. All right, here we go. Put the old weedless frog fly on here. I don't know how weedless. Let's see. See anything's hanging up here in the mush like that one. Whoa, launched him. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good sign. He likes the frog. They want it on top. They want it on top. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Very good fish. Come on, Bassie. I hope I got a good hook set. I think, oh yeah, this is that big one. <laughs> That's the one Ray caught. <laughs> oh, here we go. Get that slack out of this line. Get him on the reel. There we go. Patience, right technique. I'm gonna hope I got a good hook set. You never know until the fight is over and the fish is in hand. That's why you redo your leader. You don't lose a big fish. Dang, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I don't know how many times I hit that water. Three or four, huh? I got the whole thing on video, so I can go back and count. Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is a nice one. That is a nice fish. That is a nice big bass. Big fishy. Let's see how long you are. Get a measurement here. Let's you right up next to my pole. A little longer than the to, from the first eye to the handle. Just a little longer than that. Okay, fishy. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. You made my day. You made my week. You have made my month. <laughs> Thanks, fishy.
this has turned out to be a really good fly and it ain't nothing but a mess that's just three or four or five layers of foam a little bit of gorilla glue up inside there to harden the body but it must look like a frog because they sure go after it I saw some movement over there Ooh, there it was. Something taking a look right underneath it. Sunfish. <laughs> I saw something move some water way over there. there we go, number two. Another good fish. Oh Lord, that was a good jumper. Look at that fish gone nutty. <laughs> oh, this is working out well. Great. <laughs> Another nice fish, not as big as the last one, but a good a good fish, good thick bass. Man, these these fish are in excellent health. Look at that. Look at that. What a nice bass. Down, dude do that whatever wow i can see that fish go all the way in there two out of the same hole it is deep and it's got cover that fish tried to get underneath that log that was interesting a little bit of bleeding going on so I, instead of sending a picture to my buddies i decided to put him back in the water as soon as possible i think there might be one more in here that's willing to come eat this fly Oh, 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 I lost him. I did not get a good hook set. That was a decent bass. I don't think he was a giant. I didn't get a real good look at him. He followed that fly up a long way. I saw him. I didn't see the fish, but I saw the swirl he made, and I left it right there, and sure enough, he came and decided it was something to eat. Right back up in there. Only one in this whole hole. This all looks good, too. It's not as deep as I thought it was, but it gets deep right here. Well, let's see if there might be a second one. I didn't get a hook set at all on that fish. He slurped it in. He was just a decent fish. I didn't get a real good look, but he was not a monster. If he was, he was hiding his monsterness. I got a real good feeling. This is a hell of a good spot. Very strange. This area looks so good. And it has been good in the past. I've caught fish out of here in the past. But not lately. We should get in should be getting real close to prime time that's gonna be a tussle to pull a bass out of this stuff especially a big one or both in I had probably a green sunfish on and as I drug him across the top of the water a smaller bass came to investigate there he is oh. There he is. And I was ready and loaded, buddy. I was on that fish. Got a good hook set. That's a nice bass. Of course, they're all nice. You know, they're all nice. Your mama, I'm here. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. There's got to be bigger bass in here somewhere. There's got to be. Came up, looked at it, looked at it, and then slurped it in. He's about a three pound bass. Maybe a little better. That's a good, oh yeah, it is a little better. That's a good fish. Same place I caught the first two big ones. <laughs> All right, stay hooked up, buddy. All right. Oh, look That's at so that. Much 
It's something like that there. You can make money off your sound and you can oh, see yeah. right there. I don't know. Damn cow, but still it makes me sick. What, so you're not here with yeah. me? No, I'm talking about hearing that there, fishing that water, <laughs> around, and you caught well, it. <laughs> goodbye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. That is, that I saw. You know, this water is really clear, really beautiful water. I mean, it just it just screams bass fishing to me. And I saw that fish come up, real lazy like, you know. And next thing I know, he's come up underneath it. I could see him. Just leave it there, move it, twitch it just a little bit, and he slammed it. And that's the thing I like, is they suck it in. They just, they just grab that fly. They're, they eat it with intention. I mean, they they know it's something to eat. Right, on the final stretch, I've caught good fish today. It has been very enjoyable. It's already starting to cool down real nice supposed to be 49 degrees in the morning a little colder up here Just had a little either a little bass or a big sunfish oh there he is oh there we go there he is there's a good one I hope I got a good hook set and a good fish another really nice bass Come on, fish, stay buttoned up. Oh, I did not get a good hook set. I was afraid of that. Dang gum it. That's two. That's two good fish I lost because I didn't get a good hook set. Oh, lordy. That was a nice one. I don't think it was a giant, but that was a nice fish. And I just happened to be running the camera when it happened. So at least I got some evidence. I saw a pretty good, I got a pretty good look at it. It was right after another bass. Took a whack at the fly. Dang it, I did not get a good hook set. That happens. If you, if you get out of position so you can't do a strip set and you put it on the pole too quickly, that is a recipe for disaster. Well, I just hung my fly in that tree and the sun's almost down so you know what that's good I've had a very good day here on the creek very good <laughs>